Continuing on here in section 10.2, the diagonal of a polygon is a segment that joins two vertices that are not adjacent. By using the diagonals of a quadrilateral, we can determine the angle measures of a quadrilateral always add up to 360 degrees. So if we look here, and I have a quadrilateral, like a rectangle for example, uh, a diagonal goes from two vertices that are not adjacent, meaning they don't share uh, sides in an angle. So there's my diagonal, uh, which gives us two triangles. And we know that the degrees of a triangle are 180 degrees. We talked about that in section 8-1, or sorry, 10-1. Um, and so if I have two of them that are 180 degrees, that gives me a total of 360. 180 plus 180 is 360 degrees. So quadrilaterals angles always add up to 360 degrees. So in example two here, we're going to classify the quadrilaterals on page 517, and I have them pictured here. So in A, uh, we see that we have two sets of parallel lines. Here's one arrow, so those are parallel, and two arrows, so these are parallel. Uh, we see that our side lengths and our top and bottom are different, so that means it's not going to be a rhombus, and we don't have 90 degree angles, so it's not a rectangle. Um, or a square. This is just a parallelogram. In B, here, again I have opposite sides that are parallel, and my top and bottom are also parallel. So that means for sure this is a parallelogram. But if we wanted to be more specific yet, uh, we also have four 90 degree angles, which also makes this a rectangle. And that's a little bit more specific. Uh, it's not a square, even though it has the four 90 degree angles, or a rhombus because my side lengths aren't all the same. My left and rights are sixes, my top and bottoms are eight. So uh, it's a parallelogram, more specifically a rectangle. In example 3, we're going to find the value of x in the figure here on page 518. So, uh, we know that all of the angles in a quadrilateral, which is what we have here, 1, 2, 3, 4 sides, are going to add up to 360 degrees. So I'm going to take all of my angles, 68 degrees, and add them up. And this is a right angle, which we know is 90 degrees. Uh, and they're going to equal 360 degrees. Now, we have a 68 plus an x plus, I don't need my parentheses there because there's nothing special happening to it. So it's just 2x plus 1 plus 90 equals 360. I just got rid of my labels there so that I can work with these a little bit easier. I can combine like terms, so I have 1x plus 2x, which gives me 3x's, and I have a 68 plus 1 plus 90, which gives me 159. And now that I've simplified my left side, my right side is already simplified, we can go ahead and try and solve. So to get my x by itself, the first thing I have to do is get rid of any adding or subtracting. I get rid of addition by subtracting. And however I change one side, I have to do the exact same thing to the other. Now I have multiplication, which we get rid of by dividing. And x is going to be uh, 67. And in the problem, uh, they just want to know the value of x. So we solved it for x. If they wanted to know the angle measures here, guys, uh, we would just plug x in everywhere there is an x. So for example, this one would just be 67 degrees. It's a different color. And this one would be 2 times 67 plus 1, uh, which gives me 135 degrees. So if they wanted to know the angle measures, we'd have 68, 67, 135, and 90. But all they want here is the x, and we solve for that here. And that's all I have for section 10.2.